we go. One more video. I do believe possibly my last video of the day. Um, I don't know. Might get one more in. We'll see. I still have to load up the truck for tomorrow's event. This is going to be Caribbean Escape Type. Fragrance came from Lone Star Candle Company. Um, the one thing, you know, it's got your usage rates listed on the back. If you know how to read the IFR, A sheets, um, category nine is your soap, your bar soap. Usage rate is six and a half percent max. Um, anyways, it, I can't find the vanilla content. I know this fragrance on a different site was listed as having three percent vanilla content, and I would bet money if I emailed them, they would tell me, but I'm just going to fly by the seat of my pants, and I'll probably end up with some brown soap. <laughs> but I figure, why not? We'll take a chance. We'll see what happens. I just want to play with this one so badly and see what I can get. Uh, last year, for those of you who have been following along and remember and are part of those circles, if you will, Amy Warden over at Great Cake Soap Works hosted the her second annual soap challenge and one of the things that they did was the elemental swirl where it's like two different colors in the pot swirled and layered on top and two different schemes it was really pretty so that's kind of what we're going for today um her soap that she personally did was like a blue bottom and a yellowy top as i recall um when i smelled this one that was the first thing I thought of, was the blue and the yellow, the real pretty colors. And they say imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. So that's what I'm going for here. A soap kind of like what she did. Maybe a little different. Some minor differences. I'm going to throw this in the sink right quick. But the fragrance and the name of it just makes me think of those real pretty blue and yellow Caribbean colors like that. So we're going to give that a shot. Black out the air bubbles there. <laughs> This is another one I had to kind of break up by percent and whatnot. I've never soaked it. I don't know how it's going to behave. Wait, is that right? I'm using the blue, the yellow, and the orange Vibrance Micas. There will be a pink Vibrance Mica. Those are all from Nurture Soaps. I'll be sure to put a link in there to everything when I load this up onto YouTube. Um, pink Vibrance Mica for the um, Mica line in the middle. And... I'm still not really 100% what I'm going to be doing with the top. <laughs> I haven't decided. We'll see. So, I want this really, really bright, bright blue just in case this fragrance goes dark. At least it'll still be dark and bright. See what we get. It's like a cookie monster blue. It's real pretty. Yeah, I think that's blue enough. Want to hit it with the stick blender just a little bit. 
two colors prepped up. That's that blue vibrance mica. This is, uh, I think I forgot to mention this one. This is chromium, hydrated green, hydrated chromium green oxide, hydrated green chrome. Oh, right, let me just look. Hydrated chromium oxide green. I always get it backwards. Bless my heart. Going kind of dark with this one too. I think I bought that at, was it TKB or the Conservatory? Bought a big old bag of it. I use it in different stuff. I like it. So we got a nice dark green going there. Thicken this one up itself just a little bit. Oh, bubbles. I've never had a more bubblicious stick blender ever in my life than this one. Always be careful. Keep your thumb off the thing. You're wiping off a stick with it. Okay, so on with this. On with this. On with that. In with this. See how this does. Basically, what I do is I take my oil weight and I divide it up how I want it. Like it's a whole math thing, and I get what percent of my oils are in each cup by weight. And then I do the same thing with my uh, fragrance. lid on because I'll be using that in a minute. So, so far the other one is behaving itself. Not too shabby. That's nice. That's really nice. Little mango-y, little coconut-y. I really like it. It reminds me when I did the little haul video, it reminds me a lot of, um, pull that out, of uh, tanning lotion I used to use way back when I was free for my tan. So we're just going to pour this in. Let's see if I can get this real good on the can. Pour it in in like two or three spots from up high and kind of come down low with it. Hopefully it'll, I'm trying to decide if I want to save some for the top, maybe just a smidge. No, I'll just, I'll save the other one for the top because it's already swirly. Maybe, we'll see. And then in, 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 in. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Maybe I'll put that back in. I didn't get quite the difference in the colors that I was shooting for. Now, all right, here's the part. My table is uneven, but it is not uneven enough. And there's this nice little crack in the middle. Oh, Lord Almighty. Here we go. That'll kind of help catch that. Oh, I wish it was. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't fall. <laughs> I want it to be on, like, crooked, if that makes any sense. Oops, not going to happen. Well, actually, it could still happen. I lost some down the side. Back in with you. Ah! Tell you what I'm gonna 
do. I don't know how other people get stuff to crop out so perfect. Okay, so the nylon that's never been on a foot. This is just the pink vibrance mica in its little jar. I want a pink mica line. Just want it just to be bright, summery Caribbean colors. Now watch it be super high in vanilla and not turn out that way. But it's nice to hope. I probably really should have emailed them first and found out before guessing. But I just couldn't wait to make this into soap. So we'll see if my impatience bites me later. Off with the sock, back in the corner with that without spilling it. Shake off the rest of that. Then this one, I want to be mostly yellow. This is that yellow vibrance mica. It takes a little bit to get a good bright yellow with this one. Now the soap has had a chance to kind of sit and thicken up. Literally about where I want it. Turn that on, add my little fragrance. There we go. Oh, perfect. Stir that in. I love working with the micas because, see, that's like perfect. This is the orange. There's a little bit of, what did I put in here? Just a little bit of red to make it a little darker. I want it a little more rusty, less orangey. It takes a pretty good little bit of that one, too. There we go. See what we get. Maybe, mm, I'm torn. Maybe one more little skeet, like a hack of beans. Anyways, yeah, because the micas, you don't have to super over mix them. They, you don't have to hit them with a stick blender. They just blend right in. Really pleasant to work with. And these come out bright and true to what they should be. Just, just a wee bit. There we go. Perfect. And I know it says you can use six, what is it, six and a half? Yeah, six and a half percent. I'm still working at five. Yeah, smells delicious. So, if I have to adjust for the next batch, I will. Now, hopefully I catch this, put it up there on camera. Pour from up high and across as far. one swath that's it now the hard part is going to be where I've got everything positioned kind of floating this one on top bless me oops that one's sinking in once again not going to be perfect I'm all out of patience with that pin It's not a good thing 
when you are making the bed. You should have as much patience prepared as possible. Okay. And now is the time. Let it go and see what happens. <laughs> hopefully that bottom layer. Uh, hopefully that bottom layer set up just a little more. And it's kind of tilted to the side. Kind of trying to do slightly different stuff than I usually do. I think I have very many air bubbles in it, so I'm not going to sweat it too much. Put a little color on top. Not much. Fling soap batter all over my phone, which is my camera. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of this orangey color. Get a little more orange on the top. Like I said, this one may end up just coloring dark, dark brown. I don't know. We'll find out. A little more blue. We'll find out. Just poke that around so there's a little bit of blue on top. Not a lot. Thought about doing a mica swirl on the top, but I didn't do it, didn't go for it. And I'm trying to decide on glitter. Maybe just a wee teensy bit of iridescent glitter. Glitter makes it better every time. I think the next one I do, I want to make the top kind of tall. I've had a lot of flat tops here lately. So I think it might be time Next batch of soap to do something clever. Need to refill my glitter shaker, too. So, yeah, more than likely this will be the last batch of soap today. I've got other stuff I need to get on and do. But it's been fun. Loving these new fragrances. Loving the way they smell. Oh, delightful. And here we are. Caribbean Escape Type. Which is all a mess down the sides. I'm going to have to clean up. And I'll be back when we cut it.